today I've been talking about corporate guff, so that's management speak and generally stuff that makes residents, tenants and customers that we serve go off us. Um, so that's terms like uh, strategic planning and you know, all, the, all the stuff that management think makes them sound very professional. I've been talking about how actually we can talk in plain English and make people engage with us because we're human and we're talking like they're friends, not talking like a teacher. During the speech I referred to dog fooding, which is kind of a new trendy term that's been um, used a lot by management. And the first thing I would say is, don't use it. You don't need to know what it is. But in general, it's um, a term that people use about being good at what they do. So if the product that you make is a, has certain values and you live those values. So I think in general, it's such a stupid term that I find it hard to describe. Just don't use it. If you asked me to cascade my report to the bums, I would probably spend about 15 minutes laughing and then work out that BUM stands for Business Unit Managers. And the reason I used this in the, the um, talk that I did, this example of cascading to the bums, was when I saw this, nobody around me really laughed because they'd just taken in this little acronym and it, it wasn't funny to them. And it's just kind of an example of how ludicrous we can sound to people on the outside when we take acronyms and management speak for granted. I think it's very important for organisations to not be scared of their staff talking on social media. So a lot of the IT restrictions around these kind of ideas in organisations that you can't trust your staff to say the right thing. Well, you shouldn't really employ your staff if you don't trust them. Um, I, I would argue that actually the biggest brand champions of your organisation are the staff that aren't necessarily your comms team. They're out talking to people all the time. And why not utilise some of their great skills and passion and relationships and let them do what they need to do on social media.